What's up everyone? It's Doug the Dog Guy, owner and founder of Bad of the Bone Pet Care, here with my buddy Gus in beautiful Blue Sky, Montana. I just picked Gus up for a nationwide pet transportation gig, and I'm gonna, going to be driving him back to Florida the next few days. I've spent the last few days driving all the way to Montana from Florida. <laughs> what you see, Gus? What you think? <laughs> All right, it's Doug the Dog Guy, owner and founder of Bad to the Bone Pet Care. I'm here with my buddy Gus in the Badlands. We are road tripping cross country from Montana back to Florida. I do nationwide pet transportation. Uh, Gus's family lives in Montana for part of the year and Florida for part of the year. So I uh, transport Gus back and forth for them. We drove from Big Sky, Montana to Mount Rushmore last night, stayed in a little town outside of Mount Rushmore and went there this morning. And I had planned on getting some video there, but uh, there were a lot of people there and Gus was not allowed in a lot of the park and he was a little nervous from all the people. So we came here right afterwards and we're doing some trails and exploring and loving life. What you think, Gus? Thank you, thank you. Did you have fun today? Yes? Yes? I think we had a good day. It was a very long day. It's a little after 11 o'clock. We just got to our hotel in Fairmont, South Dakota. I've just been sitting on the floor here with Gus because he gets a little bit nervous when we come in and out of new buildings. And um, so he was a little worked up when we got here. So I've just been sitting with him, giving him some love helping him calm down, and planning out our day for tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Gus and I are here with the Jolly Green Giant in Blue Earth, Minnesota. Getting an early start on the day. Uh, been up for about an hour and a half. Uh, had to do a little bit of work this morning before getting on the road. We'll be in Milwaukee in about five, six hours. Going to see a few things there and then truck on to Chicago. It was too windy outside to talk very much out there, but what I was going to say is that finding random roadside things like this to do with your dog when you're on a road trip can make their lives so much more enjoyable. You know, just stopping at gas stations and rest stops can get pretty boring and just old after a while. And Gus, uh, he gets nervous around uh, like loud noises and new people and things like that. So I get up extra early every morning to find random places like this to stop because it makes just his life so much more enjoyable. It's more peaceful. He can exercise, he can go potty. Plus we both get to see the Jolly Green Giant. I mean, who even knew that a 50 foot statue of the Jolly Green Giant even existed? Um, but it's just awesome. It makes for great photo opportunities. This is what life on the road is all about. What's up, buddy? What's up? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Gus and I just got to our hotel here in Indianapolis, Indiana. It's been another long day for us. It's about 11 o'clock at night. Uh, we literally just got here. We're staying at a Holiday Inn Express tonight. It's the uh, nicest hotel I've stayed at in the last two weeks on this trip. Um, I got a really good deal on it for booking it last minute. Um, and that is one of my tips to you guys is to not over plan for your trips. Um, Gus and I were actually planning on spending tonight in Chicago, um, but when we went through there, there was a big storm coming through and we weren't going to get to do anything that we had wanted to do um, outside in downtown Chicago. Um, so I decided at the last minute to just keep on rolling and um, ended up here in Indianapolis. So don't over plan for your trips. 
um, kind of roll with the weather and the other circumstances that are going on and just make the best of every day. Gus and I just stopped at a Love's Truck Stop outside of Louisville, Kentucky. And I just wanted to say that Love's Truck Stops are the best gas stations to go to when you're road tripping with a dog uh, because most of them have little fenced in dog park areas. Um, this one's dog park area, unfortunately, is like right by the intersection, which is very busy. So Gus is not a fan of that with all the loud noise. But uh, most loves truck stops have really good dog areas and they also have clean bathrooms. So, I mean, you gotta, you gotta give it to them for that. Did you have a good trip? Did you have a good trip? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. Gus and I made it home, got my baby King back. He's so excited. <laughs> we made it home late last night, um, two weeks on the road. I took a week driving out there to Montana from Florida to pick up Gus. And then uh, we got back in just three and a half days, pushed it really hard yesterday, did 13 hours of driving, 15 hour day total with stops and everything but we had to get home because we have other pet sitting clients to take care of. If you guys are interested in my traveling pet care or this nationwide pet transportation, reach out to me, let me know. Uh, you can sign up on our website. It's badtothebonepetcare.com. Send me a message on Facebook, uh, send me a message on Instagram, Bad to the Bone Pet Care on everything. Drop a comment below this video. I'm always happy to help anyone that I can in any way that I can. I love being on the road and getting to see new places, meet new people, people while caring for the animals. I mean, it, it's truly a dream come true for me. So um, I'm gonna be putting out some more content in the next couple weeks uh, about this trip and about traveling with animals and about just how all of it works in more detail. But this um, is just like a little highlight video. <laughs>